hello, Brad. It's Mule Do Monday. I am back from the dead, calling you up to make the payments on the siding and roof that I owe you. Where do I send the check to? I am Mule Do Monday. I just had a new roof put on. I am Mule Do Monday. You come around here, you'll get a shotgun to your behind. I'm Mule Do Monday. They just called here and told me they wanted to make a call to New Zealand. I am Mule Do Monday. I didn't order no sighting. I never made no such calls. Welcome to episode 110 of Madhouse Militia Presents. We wish to give thanks to the following people for helping make the show go, such as Dwight the Janitor, Voice of Memory for RogueServer.com. We use his Mumble server every Friday night at 10 p.m. Eastern and 7 p.m. Pacific in order to do the show. So go to RogueServer.com forward slash AKSPA Friday nights. We wish to thank Dragomir for the Corn Down, which is the show that comes on before hours at corndown.com and rogueserver.com forward slash Dragomir. We also wish to give thanks to our patrons such as Cluesritz, Experts, Brian N., Mig Chungus, Jayad, Ryan T., Travis B., Goldrust, Gordo, Parkman, Crispy808, MST3 Clay, Fancy Pants, Anonymous, Mr. Turbois, Phone Losers of America, Benjamin, Despicable Dogs, Big Boy Farts 666, Jesus Pay News, and Turbo the High Level Squirrel. Thank you to everyone for supporting the show. Be sure to check out our 1000 plus Prank Call Best of 2022 package available as a product on our Patreon page over at patreon.com forward slash madhouse militia. If you wish to find out more about the show, you can visit immoralhole.com. For our archives, go to travelswithmiriam.com. For our YouTube, check out Madhouse Militia. For our TikTok, check out Immoral Hole. If you wish to contribute to the show, visit immoralhole.com forward slash show forward slash contribute. Hi, yeah, I was wondering about the, you know, the, uh, the meatballs. Uh, what about them? Oh, how much meat is in there? Is it beef only, or is it, like, is it pork, too? Um, yeah, it's a, it's a mix of pork and beef. Okay, but do you know hey, how much? Hey, ask them how girthy their balls are. Yeah, how girthy are those balls? <laughs> You should buy as many. What? What? How many do I buy? Hello. Hi. How many do I buy? You say revive? Yeah. How many do I buy? Hi. Man of Sudden Classic. Oh yeah, you got Mr. Croft over there. Hey, Man of Sudden Classic. Mr. Croft was over there. He was going to get me some crawfish and some chicken. Hello? Thanks for calling. Hold on, Mark. How may I help you? Hi, I'm here with my Hi. brother. Uh -huh. I have questions about uh, the place. We're going to pull in and uh, lay down. How big, how big is the bed? Hi, yeah. Uh, Hi. My brother wants to know, is there a butt fuckers over there? Burgers? What? The, the fud ruckers? Hello? Hi. Hello. Do you have hamburger close by to motel? No. Do you have galmutra? Can you... Can we get Mexican food? Tacos? Yeah, it's a Mexic Mexican restaurant, one traffic light. Do you go there? Is good for you? Yes, sir. Do you want me to bring you tacos? What do you want? You need room or what? I want room and I want you. 
One taco. Oh. Uh, Hi, yeah, there's a there's a clown out here in the parking lot. Sorry? There's a clown. There's a guy out here. He's got rubbers in his hand and he's blowing on them in the parking lot. Does he work for you? Mm, let me see. I'm not sure which room are you staying. Oh, I'm not staying here yet. Like I was, I was thinking about it, but he, this guy, he's like scaring me because he's out here. He's blowing the rubbers, just blowing mm, things, you know. Yeah, he's putting the rubber up to his mouth and he's blowing on it. Are you sure you're calling the right motor? Because yeah, I he's don't blowing on it. <laughs> he's blowing on it. Are you drunk? No. Because that's what I'm saying. Like at my property, there is nobody over there, so I'm not. I'm not sure what you're talking about. That's why I'm asking you. Are you oh, sure he... you call the right property? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm hiding under the under the truck over here. You see me? I'm just under here. I'm just looking at this catalytic converter, and it's intact and it looks real nice. No, listen. I work. Come out. Come come out. I work here. Listen. You gotta suck my dick if you wanna stay here. Come on. Does come he work for you? Come on. I work no, at the gas Nobody works for, right. me. Nobody work works for me, and I don't come know on. what you're talking about. It doesn't come sound on. right to me. Come on. I don't, I, I I don't know what you're talking about, and nobody works for me. Wait, he, Get he, the he, fuck he, out he, here he, now and suck my penis. Ah! Come here. I'm going to drag you. Hello? Think of calling for my name? Hi, yeah, I'm here with my brother. And uh, he had some questions about the uh, the place where we're gonna stay. Yeah, yeah. Wait, what? What's your cupcake policy? I'm sorry. What's your cupcake making policy in the room? Just a microwave and a fridge. Yeah, but uh, like, if I'm gonna make some cupcakes in here, is that gonna cause a big problem? There's no stove or ovens in the room. Well, no, I can make it in a microwave, but I'm saying, like, are, people got to stay out of my room with the cupcakes. I'm not sure. I'm I'm lost. Can I help I'm you? Putting marijuana, I'm putting marijuana in the frosting. That's why people got to leave them alone after I make them. That's what I'm saying. Okay, I've never had that before. Okay, okay well, it's not going to be a problem then, is it? Well, they, there's no pets and smoking inside the building. Uh, did anybody say anything about a pet? Are you applying and for the position? No pet, would you like to? So... Would you like to? Would you like to be my pet? I'll put a leash on you. Someone, where's Jen Stewart? Bring him back. Oh, oh, other things. Guest services. This is Laurel. Yeah, hi, Laurel. Um, did somebody? Uh, I know it's kind of innocuous and like you probably wouldn't know unless you really paid attention. I had I had left um a hourglass like for a game for like a board game in my room and I don't know did you guys throw that away at all or did you put it lost and found or Let me check. That's usually in lost and found. Okay. And when were you here? Uh, it was like three day, three days ago. Do you do you remember what room you were in? I, I think it was uh, two fifteen. So you checked out on the fourteenth Tuesday. Right. I'm I'm just wondering because the, the contents of the hourglass my my grandfather actually owned a hobby store and he was big into into different games. And so when he passed away and we had him cremated, we put him inside of an hourglass so he could still participate in family game night. And we kind of we kind of need him back. Oh, okay, what's your last name? The last name is Johnson, J O H N S O N N. Two N's. Okay, so that was not on Tuesday. Mm-hmm.
good old Pop Pop. He, he was always the time master. Are you sure you're calling the right hotel? Yes, yes, of course. And it was J-O-H-N-S-O-N-N? Yep, two N's. Because I am not finding anything. Oh, there's I nothing in Lost and Found? Well, I don't know if they would have labeled it. We didn't, we didn't have anything on it. It had a J on the top and bottom, that, like it was kind of engraved. Okay, uh, hold on a bit. Let me check. Let me look at Lost and okay. Found. Okay, I'd appreciate it. Hey, did you find the, the, the sniff sniff? Yeah, I told her it was Pop Pop's, his ashes. I didn't tell her it was Coke we were smuggling. Yeah, that bar's going to smell real good. Can't wait to sniff his ashes. I can't wait to fuck. Does anybody else want to get fucked? Yeah, you can sign me up for one fuck. Sign me up too, man. Alright, bend over. Hey, how's this, how's my hole look? I have to open it. Here are the forceps. Can you turn to your left cough? That's the best cough I had. I don't think she's coming back. She's a fucking bitch. She better if she knows what's fucking good for her. Dazen and Sholo, how can I help you? Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm good. This is the Days in and Shillow. How can I help you? Oh, yeah. So I was going to be by there like tomorrow, right? And I'm bringing a whole a whole bunch of guys on over. And uh, uh, we, we wanted to make sure it was okay if we had like a frat party at the resorts. I'm sorry, what was that question? Uh, we have like a frat party. It's okay if we bring the frat party on over. Do we're you have we're a roving. Here? Well, we were wondering if we if we could make like a, a room booking, you know, for like uh, two guys. We got a roving party. We're you know we're driving around an Uber, a Tesla Uber, Cybertruck Tesla Uber, and we're just taking and people for a, a little ride. And we're, yeah, we're having a little party. No, yeah, you wouldn't just, be able to have a party like that. It's just like the two that. of no. us. It's just the two of us, though. It's just the two of us. No, thank you. Yeah. Hi, yeah. Uh, I was driving by earlier, and uh, something caught my eye. It looked like there was a squirrel, but it was carrying, uh, it looked like pigeons. I wasn't sure if that was one of your pets over there. It was that then when I came by again, there was a cat and it was eating the squirrel. I just want to alert you to the fact that there's a car, there's many carcasses on the outside there. I'm sorry, what? Oh yeah, there was a squirrel. Was eat, it was eating the pigeons, and the pigeons, I guess, went down, and then the cat came out, and I guess the cat came around, and he ate the squirrel. Okay, that's called nature, sir. Oh well, yeah. Well, then when I was in the toilet there, I accidentally clogged the toilet with my my obese father's uh, ashes. Sir, are you a guest here? Well, I was, uh, but I tried to chase some ashes down to co- recollect. Hello. I wanted to recollect with my father. Hello? Are you there? All right, I'll I'll call back, I guess. 
TV on the wall. Yeah, yeah how may I help you? Hi, uh, yeah, I had a question. Do you have uh, cameras in the room? No, we do not have cameras in our rooms. All right, do you have cameras in the bathrooms? No, we don't have cameras anywhere. All right, well, that's all I need to know, because I was going to bring my crew, and we were going to install some cameras outside for you, free of charge. We work for Amazon. You may have heard of us. Yeah, no, we don't want cameras on our property. Thank you, though. We're coming. We're going to install them. No, you can't just install cameras on someone's property. We're coming to install them. We just have to make... There's just data out there floating that it isn't attributed to you yet. Yeah, go ahead. I'm floating here. Holiday and Express and Shalo. This is Malachi. How could I help you? Hello, Malachi. Um, do you know the one who walked the rose? Sorry, what? I'm kidding. That's that's a Children of the Corn reference. I don't know. Maybe you're too uh, young for that. Yeah. Anyway, uh, do you, is there a woman working the front desk by chance, or a woman there? Uh, no, not right now. Okay, maybe you can help. Um, d sorry, I don't know if this is too personal, but how old are you? I'm 22. Oh, okay, perfect. Um, so my daughter is traveling with me, and um, her her mom's not really present in her life, and um, she's just started. Um, she became a woman. She just started menstruating. Um, and we didn't, I, I've never really talked to her about any of that before. Um, and I, I just, I, maybe if, it, you know, I think it'd be better if it came from a person in authority. You know what I mean? Like yourself. Right. Um, I'm, I'm going to put her on real quick. Just one second. Honey, can you, can you come to the phone? Sweetheart, it's okay. Hello? Y yes, um, so he's going to go ahead and explain what's going on. Go ahead, Malachi. Hello? Malachi, are you still there? Malachi. I, okay, I'm going to try to break it down for you. So, God made man, right? He made man in his image. He made woman, but, like, women are, like, a Chinese copy of man. They're, like, less good, you know, less smart, less fast, less strong. And the reason that you're bleeding, you know, from down there is because you're not, you weren't born male. You're, you're basically second best. Does that make sense? Super 8 Mel, Pio. Hi. Uh, yeah, so I had a question regarding the sheets. Because I was, I was there, and uh, the sheets, they were, they were very dirty. I was wondering what if is you could the room number? that. No, what it was a long time number? ago. It was a long time ago. It was like 215. It was a really long time ago. <clears throat> and, so what um, I need to fix, I don't understand the sheet. Well, I'm wondering, like, when was the last time they were changed, like cleaned or changed? You know, because they had so a lot of So which room number you are holes. staying right now? Well, I'm not staying there right now. I was, I was wondering if, if, like, when the last time was. We changing every day the sheet, sir. Okay, but when do they get replaced? Because they had a lot of holes. Every day we just change it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know you you change them, but, like, how old are they? How long have they existed? How Every year we just they? change the new sheets. Every okay, year. Okay, so yearly. Oh, okay. Yes, yearly. Not be, like, people, not every day. But how many people, like, you know, like, sleep there, like, a week? 
But why are you asking me this question? Who are oh, you? Because I'm a, I'm, uh, I'm a clean man. I like to be very clean, as clean as I can cleanly be. And I just want to know, like, you know, how many people, like, how many people have slept? I have no time? idea. I never count the people. Oh. We have the lot of every day. We have the lot of people is coming. We not counting oh. every day the people. So okay. Where do they Where do they do that? Is it all over the sheets? What does that mean? Well, you said the word. You said the naughty word. Sorry, what do you say? I not understand. Oh, you said you said the people. They're they're going there. Every day we rented the people. Every sir. day they're going there on the sheets. Yeah. Oh my God. You call them replaced because they ripped. Rusty, back in. How may I help you? Hi, I stole the sheets and I want them replaced because uh, they're very rusty. There was uh, rust color and dirt. I'm sorry. Well, I was I was in the room there. And the sheets, they were they were covered in dirt and dust and mud, and because my friend he came back and his boots were totally covered because he was he was out in the field or the mine or something. He was looking for things, you know, things that like glow under a certain light, and it's, it's green and sometimes blue and and orange and yellow. And he. We, we, he had the you know the sheets. He wrapped it around his feet. He was cleaning his boots with them. So I repla I was just wondering if I could get them replaced because they're all. They, I don't know where he was, like where he was hanging out. Like, I mean, he was telling me about barrels of like nuclear waste. Hello. Who are you? Oh, I'm just a guy. I'm calling because my friend. He he took the sheets and he was cleaning his boots with them. That's neat. You should quit calling places. You're an idiot. Can I help you? Hi. Hello? Yeah, can we? Yeah. When we get there, can we yell at people? Sorry. Yeah. We want to go down there. We want to yell at you. We want to yell at everybody that like walks in. We want to give them like a little pep talk. You know, you know boost <laughs> their spirits, <laughs> boost their morale. You know. Hello. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Hi. I was wondering if it's okay if we come down and we're gonna we're gonna shout a lot, we're gonna yell and scream, but we're gonna pep, we're gonna do pep talk. We're, we're a bunch of peppy folks. We're gonna pep everybody up. You have enough yeah, pep okay. in your step? Yeah, you come, you come, okay? We'll take care of you. Oh, thank you. You got pep in your step? <laughs> yes. Nice. Can I see it? Can I see that yeah. pep? Yeah. It's, How you, uh, you come over? Me? How you gonna show me that pep? Yeah, I just come over. I'll show you. Why Thank don't you, you tell me how you're going to show me? Uh, no, you have to come and I'll show you, okay? Okay, oh. thank you. I'll go back. Why? why? <laughs> come front. Super 8 person. Hey, um, hey, hey, I have a question. Oh. Yes. Yeah, I, I have a question. Uh, are you going to yell at me? Huh? I went to check in earlier today, and the person at the uh, counter, they just started yelling at me. Who? I don't I didn't get their name. They yelled at me, and they told me to get out of the hotel. And I, 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 it, it wasn't cool. What earlier day? Earlier today, around like 8 o'clock. Huh? Today. Today? Today. Yes, today. And who is in the front desk? I don't, I don't know the name. It was some woman. She kept saying, it's too early to check in, it's too early to check in. I'm like, what do you mean it's too early to check in? It's 7. He's like, no, 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 too early you come back. I was like, I don't want to come back. I want to, I want to check in now. And she wouldn't let me check but, in. No, so check-in time is 3 o'clock, 3, 3 in the afternoon. You cannot check yes, in. Yes, I came we, at 7 in the morning, to, though, and I wanted to check in. Yeah, we, we can do it. It's a, we, we don't have, we have room. We so cannot yell at me. If not, then we we cannot allow the. We don't have any room in the morning. We are, night time people so now, stay. Now you're people, talking just like her. Huh? Now you're talking just like her. Yeah. So, so you know you can't check in at all, seven o'clock. You can't do it. You can't do it. You can come by the one or two o'clock. We have room. We can give you. But we don't. We don't guarantee you. Why are you, you, why you, are you mad at me now? I didn't do anything. I, 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 what? 
No, don't, 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 don't talk to me. All I want to do is check in at 7 a.m. If, if you are okay, then don't. Don't come. I don't need your business. No, I'm okay. I wanted, I wanted to check in. I, I wanted to talk in. No, I, 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 don't, I, I don't have any room in the morning, and then we cannot check in. If we have, then you have to come like after 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, we can check early, like 1 hour no, or 2 o'clock. No, 7 in the morning. You check in at 7 in the morning. No, I don't need it. I don't have any check-in. If you, if you check somebody else, just go over there. That's it. Thank you. Bye. No, we're going to check in at your place at 7 in the morning. Okay. Who wants it? Here, let me unmute you. you want the... Hi, yeah, my son's here. And he likes to scream and yell over everybody else. And uh, I have, you know, a little trouble there, you know, sometimes when I'm at, like, hotels. And and I just wanted to know if it would be all right if we stayed there. I mean, because he's got this, this issue that can't be, you know, solved simply by uh, putting a muzzle on the boy. You know, we tried. But the doctor said it wasn't good for his, you know, mental health if he was always muzzled and chained up, you know. Okay. Um, how about yeah. if some guests going to be disturbed up about that and they're going to complain? Okay, they're going to complain about him. All right. Do you know anywhere that we can we can take him, you know? No, I'm not sure. I mean, he's spayed and neutered, you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, because, you know, you don't want more cats. Once you have one, that's enough, really. I mean, well, maybe two. Two two is really good, actually. You don't want three, though. That's too many. I mean, three might be might be a good amount, though, too. But maybe four. I mean, I, I've never had more than two cats, so I can't really say whether or not three is enough or four is enough, really. I mean, maybe five is enough, you know? But for now, it's just me and him, and, you know? I just had some questions, and... Was it you? Is that how you know? No. Thank you for calling Mandazel Hotel and Casino. This is Fred. How can I direct your call? Hello? Fred? Yes. Hi. Hello? Hello? My husband, Matt, and I were wanting to book a room. Oh, Matt, you need a you uh, you uh, hotel. Give me one second. I'll transfer you. No, I want to talk to you. Thank you. For- that is a hotel. This is Jessica. How may I help you? Hey, Jessica. Me and my husband were trying to book a room for the night. Jessica's a beautiful name, by the way. Oh, thank you. Uh, for this evening? When we adopt her little girl, do you want to name her Jessica? <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Uh, hey, 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 guys, do you my, remember that girl mm-hmm. named Jessica from high school? We used to call her Slopneck. Oh yes, good old Slopneck. Yeah, she's pretty cool. That's a that's a against naming her Jessica though, because that she was yeah she had problems. Her dad molested her. Oh yeah, her. I mean, I mean it's not her fault. Her dad molested her. I mean, but she became very promiscuous. Don't you remember senior year? Oh yeah, I remember senior year. I think we all remember senior year. Anyway. Sorry, we got off traffic. You guys were looking for a room this evening? Do they have a honeymoon suite or like... Yeah, I mean, hopefully. If not tonight, tomorrow, we can play up to a day. Um, Well, tonight, unfortunately, we are sold out. What about for tomorrow? Let me double Tomorrow's our actual anniversary. Tomorrow also we're sold out. Damn it. What about the next day? But when is your next open room? Um Sunday, Monday after that. It's cuz this weekend it, it's the rodeo and there's also a concert happening here tomorrow, so Okay. It's just been booked for like the past week or maybe, so. So we're trying to celebrate. Yeah, I mean, I have Sunday, Sunday, Monday. Um, Sunday, we still have, because the rodeo's still going on, so it's on, like, 
kind of a, a higher price day. It's 185, but then on Monday it drops back down to uh, 150. Do, do uh, these what do you like think? Cloud beds? Be? I don't know. I'm wondering for for we have a, a foster child, and uh, we, typically we share a room with them. But like, do, do these rooms have like pull out beds or anything like that? Yeah, it's either you can have a single king or two queens in the in the room, and then in the living room it has a pull out oh, sofa. Oh, you've got two queens already, but we prefer mm-hmm. one bed. <laughs> but yeah, every room will have a pull out sofa in the living room. Okay, like, um, uh, not to get too graphic or anything, but we plan to be intimate quite a bit because it's our anniversary. Um, and might be a pull up, but there's not going to be much pulling out, if you know what I mean. Exactly, you're reading my mind, but um, like our foster kid can be kind of a prude about that. Um, so is there going to be enough privacy, or should we just send them to the bathroom or something? No, I mean, the bedroom has a door. It separates itself from the living room. No doors. We, we in our household, we never have yeah. closed doors. O- open door policy. Um, I'm not quite positive then. <laughs> okay. Would I get in Maybe trouble like... for removing the door? Just temporarily while we're there? I'm sorry, what was that? If I was to remove the door, you know, like a little use a little hammer or something, and remove the door, would I get in trouble for that? Uh, yeah, they wouldn't want you to remove the door. I'd put it back. Still, they wouldn't want you to remove it. Well, okay. What about the, Let's uh, forget about the door wall. for a second. What what if we put like uh do you guys what, what are the pillowcases like are they nylon or are they cotton are they breathable Um I'm not sure what material they are um I've stayed here once but it was a while back I, I mean it wasn't it wasn't uncomfortable Okay it wasn't I was comfortable thinking, um if there's if there's not enough privacy answer. honey we could just uh we could just put a couple pillowcases you know, like over her eyes, like over her head, and you know, get our privacy that way. Do you still have that uh, blindfold from that one night? I do, but it's adult size is not going to fit. Oh, you're right. You're right. I'm sure we can rig. Like if we if we can't rig something up, we'll just send her to the lobby or something. What's the longest a child can stay in the lobby? Just fuck me already! God damn it! Oh, oh we're trying for trying to figure out the room. He will. All right, whoever wants to start it and try and hand it off with like, let me put my kid on and hand it off to someone. Uh-oh. Chair kicks the Wait. door. Roland, this is Ashley. How can I help you? Ashley. What? Shut the fuck up. DTB machines. Next thing I go to bed. Night, everyone. I'll be here listening, but I won't talk. Okay. Don't fucking say a damn word. Calling, uh, Roland, sure, how may I help you? Hold, hold, hey, me, hold, hold the rag over their face harder. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. I will. So they, when they answer, I'm gonna shut up. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck him up real good. Just don't. Hang on, I gotta shut. Wait until they answer and the them, phone. Bend them over. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Hello, lady. I'm sorry. Uh, he won't interrupt us again. I'm sorry. Okay. What are you needing? Um. What's your pol? What's our policy on? You give a shit about that? Okay, uh, you cut out after you said policy. What was that? I said, what's your policy on people getting fucked in the room? Do you give a shit? Okay, never mind. I thought you were somebody else. I'm down to the no. resort. My I do have a show. How can I help you? Hey, Bellman. How you um, me and Me and Matt, um, he wants to get fucked in the room. We were wondering which room you have uh, available that's the best for that, for us to do that. 
Hey, you, you have to be. Th- Hello. Hi, this is Gray Hackle. I missed your call. Can you hear me now? I hear you now. I got a missed call from you early this morning. Oh, I don't know. Why are you calling me? Uh, I don't know how you must have called me first. I wouldn't have. This is a business, so I don't have a clue. Can you hear me? Branson Towers, this is Sky. Hi. Hey, yeah. Um, uh, we got a little situation brewing. Uh, me and my kids, they, we, we have a little, you know, the, uh, the honey, I shrunk the kids situation going on. And I've been, I've been climbing my way through the machines on the game floor here. Uh, I've been trying to find my way back to the lobby and maybe we can, we can shoot, you know, we can set the machine on, turn the microwave on, set it to, you know, nine minutes again. And I'll go back to full size, you know. Okay. <laughs> what, where, where, where do you think is the safest route? Because I've been, I've been trying to, I've been climbing through the the slots here, and when I'm inside, you know, I push the button and it goes ding, 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 but it doesn't let me go up. In the arcade or in the elevator? Elevator. Yeah, yeah, that's where I need to go. But when I get there, I. Do I go on top or do I go in? Do I just stay inside? Or can you come get me? <laughs> this isn't real. <laughs> can you? <laughs> Why are you laughing? You're lost. <laughs> Is it not funny? Yeah. Oh, Milkman has entered like the it. hole. He's in. He's entered the mouth hole. Thank you for thank you for calling Casino Arizona and Talking Stick Resort. This is Linda. How can I help you? Hey, Linda. Big fat Linda. How you doing? I'm doing great. What can I do for you? I'll let my boyfriend talk. You sorry. Yeah, so I have a little. Um, so what happened was I was I was in the I was playing with the claw machine, right? And I got one of the toys. It was up in the air and then it fell down. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, this, is I, this is a casino. This is a casino. Who are you yeah, trying to reach? Okay, I'm playing in the game room. Not like, okay. not like the, not like you know, the claw machines. We don't have any that any of those machines. I don't know who you're trying to call. This is Casino not Arizona on the casino and Talking Floor, but in like the kids' arcade. We don't have a kids' arcade at Casino Arizona or Talking Stick. Yes, so we I don't know do. who you. I was just in there. No, we don't. We do not have a kid's room. We do not. What claw machine was I playing then? I don't know. I don't know where you were, sir, but we're in East Scottsdale. I got my cat stuck in your claw machine, ma'am. My pharmacy? No, my cat. I had. I found a cat on the side of the road and I was petting him. And I made the claw machine. I kind of put the cat in the claw machine. Now I can't get him out. Okay, well, I, I'm at Talking Stick Resort in Casino, Arizona, so I don't know who yes. you're trying to reach. I was using your claw machine. We Take don't the have a claw machine. With the claw machine. We, we really want our eight. We really want our cat back, Miss. Can you come, please? Stuck in your claw I'm sorry. Cat. I'm sorry. I don't know who you're trying to reach, but it's not us. It's you because you have the claw machine. We don't We're have a claw machine. We're in the casino right now. You have I a know, claw machine. I was just playing it. It's in the hallway. I'll connect- are you at Talking Stick or Casino Arizona? Is it a racing game? I'm sorry. Are you at Talking Not Stick? Casino. Which casino? Oh, we casino have two. Arizona. We're at the we're at the big casino, the big one. We have two casinos. I don't know which one you're at. Well, well, the, the bigger one of the two. Then. Excuse me. I'll connect you to the reward center, the the guest services. Just a moment. No, don't don't connect me. I want I want my cat out of these claw machines. Yay. Well. Salt River Rewards, this is Leah. Hey, Leah. What, what department day. are you in? Like, who, who are, we just got transferred. Who are you? This is a rewards club. Guest services. So first. My so boyfriend is really just your... Yeah. Excuse me? So I'm, I'm going to let you tell, I'm going to let him tell no, the story. I, thank you. I was playing with a street cat, and he was super cute. And what happened was I was playing the claw machine, and I almost won a toy at your claw machine, and then the toy fell. 
So I put my cat in the claw machine, and now the cat can't, I can't get the cat out. So where are you right now? I'm about twenty dollars. I'm about twenty dollars deep trying to get my cat out of the machine. Every time the claw comes down, the cat just moves away from it. I can't get him down the hole. Um, where are you right now? We're, We're at, at the claw, claw machine. machine. One second. Besides the thing that and then what happened was I, my buddy. Is the claw machine? The what machine? Claw machine. We don't have a claw machine here at the casino. You do. I was just playing it. Are you at Talking Stick? Yeah. Yeah. Your We're sister, at the Talking uh, Sticks. Big Fat Linda just transferred us over to you from the other casino. Excuse me? Your sister, Linda, she has transferred us from the other casino. From uh, which casino are you at? I'm at your casino, the Talking Stick. Okay, you're at Talking Stick Resort? Yes, and I was just playing with your claw machine, and I put my cat in there, and my buddy, he's a midget, I sent him in to get the cat, and now he won't come out. Um... They're just fucking around. They won't come out. The cat is in there sleeping, and we sent our friend, and he's just pulling on the claw machine, scaring people when they almost get the prize, and he thinks it's funny. It is not funny. Okay, so um, you're at Talking Stick Resort, and what machine are you at, or where where, where exactly are the you The claw at? machine. The claw, oh, my gosh. The claw Please. machine. Brittany, come on. Okay. I'm at the claw machine. I have to leave them. Okay. So I'm C L A W machine. C L A W machine. Machine hear, with the claw. It has a yeah. claw and you hold it and it goes like this. It goes like this. Okay. So you're at Talking Sick. This is Casino I Arizona. Cat and I missed it front of the machine, man. So you have to call the goddamn cat went in the machine and it's fucking swiping at the claw. And it just won't come out. We're trying to get it, and it thinks it's funny. So we put our friend in there who's a goddamn midget, and now he thinks that shit's funny, too. They both won't come out the goddamn machines, honey. They just won't come out the machine. We need you to help us. Okay, so what do you need help with? Getting them in, okay, are you hearing us? Ladies... Sucks. Can we talk to your goddamn manager or something? Because you are no help. You are not helping us. Okay, yeah. I'm going to send a manager. It's too fun in here. I will send a manager over there. Just hold on one second. Pull me out, damn it. Get your ass out there, man. We're trying to go fucking home, man. Come out. No. I like you here. Hold on. Hold on one second. I'm going to send a manager. Hold on. I'm pet. Hurry up. Well, the cat. Greg Crown Front Desk. This is Greg. Greg. Hey, big fat Craig. I got a goddamn issue. Okay. You know the goddamn claw machine in the front? Uh, I do not. Where, well, where, you where see what you? happened is my goddamn cousin, we were walking in the casino. There was a cat, a cat and the cat done smelled something in his pocket. Casino? He crawled up his I, leg and he just... No, we don't have a it. casino. I think you may have the wrong number. Listen we here. Well, I'm sorry. To play, we buy the claw machine. We're just by the claw machine. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm not aware of a claw machine. We don't have a casino. Okay, well, with? listen, we're by the claw machine, and I need your help. We're by the claw Where machine, are you? I need Where, your what help. What city are you in? The big city. Okay. Uh, sounds a little prankish to me. We don't have a casino at our resort, and we don't have a claw machine. Is there anything I can help you with? Well, yeah. Well, what can I help you with, given that we have no claw machine and we have no casino? How about you help me get this chicken out? You have a good day.
Thank you for calling Denny's Lucky Lane. This is Robert. How can I serve you? Hey, big fat Robert. How you doing there, buddy? Not too bad. How you doing? Uh, you see, I just wanted to go ahead and put an order in. Okay. Give me just a second. And what can I get you? Uh, a Grand Slam. Oh, are you talking about the uh, the the one that was on promo, the discounted five ninety nine meal? Yeah, the homo one. Yeah. Yeah, that that stopped today. Oh God damn it! Here, my my husband's gonna be pissed. You're gonna have to talk to him, Elasma. Hello. 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 This guy said the goddamn special's off just now. He said it just ended five minutes ago. What do you mean? It's today. No, I didn't. I said it ended today. It's today. He, yeah, it ends today. I don't know if this guy's messing around with us, but that's well, rude. Today. You can't honor a goddamn coupon for us just just because it no, ended the same day. No, he's saying it's today. He's saying it's today. Do, do you have the oh, coupon? Man, did you take your well, medicine? Yeah, we got the coupon. All right. Well, if you bring it in, I'll go ahead and honor it. All right. Oh, all right. Thank God. My, my husband's blood pressure was about to raise oh, the roof. <laughs> So we got a Grand Slam. How do you want the eggs? How do you want the eggs, honey? With heat. Okay, With do heat. you want them scrambled? Do you want them over easy, over medium, sunny side up? How do you want your eggs? With heat. You got to cook them with heat. A whole egg. Baby, that's not a solution. All right, all right, right. all right. Ma'am, you're being very, very rude. I'm telling you, I need to know how you want them cooked. Do you want them over easy, over medium, sunny side up, scrambled, over hard? Hello? Baby, you're just going to have to pick one, baby. What? Yeah, I got to know how you want your eggs. Please, with scrambled heat. Scrambled? Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. And did you want? Oh, sir. Oh, did you sir, want? God damn you! All right, I'm. You're hey, gonna have to go somewhere day. else. I'm not gonna tolerate with being cursed at because I'm trying to get your order. I'm honoring a coupon that expired today. I'm trying to do everything I can for you, and I have questions to make I'm sure that this sorry. gets made right for you. Okay. I got you. I got you. Crazy now the. There's another choice for you. Do you want bacon, sausage, or eat both? I like both. You like both? We can put it on for both. And is it just one of those Grand Slams, or did we need two of those today? I want two of them. Two Grand Slams? Baby, you can only have one. You can only have one. No, one for you. One for me. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll hungry, do it. I'll baby. do it for I'm both hungry. of you guys if you're both hungry. It's no problem. I'm hungry, all right. I'm not hungry. This one. Just one of them. Okay. All right. Can you give us about fifteen? <laughs> can you give us about fifteen twenty minutes on that, and it should be ready for you guys. Okay. I don't want to eat it. Do what? I don't want it. You don't want it now? You don't want it? I don't want it. Alrighty. Come on, baby. You really don't want it? I don't want it. I want something else. I'm sorry, sir. This fucking guy, he's going to make me go insane. I'm so sorry for wasting your goddamn <laughs> time. Got no get, get the fuck in the room. Get in the room. Get the go heat. in the room. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> hey, it, it's no problem. You guys have a great night. I have it written down, so if you change your mind, just give me a call back and we'll get our cook going on it, okay? Heat. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. <laughs> no problems. Bye. I'm in heat. Bye bye. That was a good one, Elasma. 
Yeah, I know. They're listening to us. Oh, creeps. Don't you dare look inside an immoral hole or anything. I have to go. Here, you're stuck in the claw machine. Uh -huh. Thank you for calling Denny's and Murray. This is Justin. How can I help you? Hello? Hello? Yes, how can Hello, I help you? Hearing me? I'm yes, sorry, I hear you. I'm not from your country, but... There's a problem with, like, the machine here with the claws that will pick the thing up. Uh-huh. You know what, what I can I do for you? Yeah, what can I do for you? Oh, well, my issue is, like, I'm stuck inside there. What? I think it's partially because I use European coins, but I got, I'm a little stuck inside the claw machine. Thank you for calling the festive skyline. Hello? There's a goddamn monkey in the claw machine. He won't come out. You got a what? You heard me. I said there's a goddamn monkey in the goddamn claw machine. I don't like that. Interstate 8 Motel, how may I help you? Hi, uh, why are you called the 8? Because I, I was looking there, and it's not even on the road. It's off the ways. I'm sorry, are you trying to reach Interstate 8 Motel in Lakeview? Yeah, yeah. Okay, but where I, are when you? When I looked, well, I was looking to come there, and it, it looked like you were, like, elsewhere, like you were out in the fields, and I, it was off the interstate. I look on the map. We're not off in the field. We're in this uh, little town called Lakeview, Oregon. Okay, yeah, but the tunnels. So I, I've been walking for a while now. And uh, I, I think I'm underneath I'm underneath the, the parking lot. I don't know what you're talking about. Where are you? I, I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm in the tunnels somewhere. I think you've got the wrong no. number. You need to call somebody for help. Oh, no, no, I got all the help <laughs> I need. That's not me. I, got all, I wish I could help you, help but I, I can't. Need. I'm okay. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just over here in the field here. Are you trying to rent a room at Interstate 8 Motel? Oh, yeah, yeah. We were okay. trying to rent a room because, uh, you know, my, my husband here, he, he said, oh, I, I got to... You know, I gotta get out of here. You know, we got we got a situation here. We got uh, the gas leak. Don't don't tell her my whole story, baby. Well, no, you tell her here. Here, I'm going to here. Let me press the button. Okay, you should hear her. You should Hello? hear her now. Hello, baby. Hey, Hi, family. Ah, uh, yeah. Do you accept a uh, horse and buggy uh, uh, parking? Cause I got a horse, and I I've got a horse. I've got a horse. That's the first part of you it. You have a horse. Yeah, yeah. I got um, a buggy too. So we too. do have. We do have a trailer parking, or you could park on the side of our building where the grass area is at, if you don't mind. No, it's just there, a horse. I don't there. have. There's no other like thing to contain control it or contain it. It's just the horse. Oh, there's no cars. Like no, no, maybe? I just ride a horse. We we go everywhere. Oh. Um, I just don't the horse have machine. You could tie your... Just one What's horse that? machine. Yeah, it's the horse machine. A horse machine. Machine. Yeah. Well, it's a, it's an animal. You know, it does things. It does work. So it's a machine. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, we don't have anywhere you could put your horse, but if you want to tie him to the side. Of on a pillar, maybe. Yeah, I don't know if that, that might works. work. The last time, you know, he, he kicked uh, he kicked a kid, and we had to put him down. This is a new one. <clears throat> uh, I don't know if that'd be alright, because if people were walking by, he might get spooked and he might, you know, get a little a little wild on us. Yeah, I don't. He also gets a little horny. Yeah, that's the other problem. Yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah. <laughs>
Thank you for calling the Cremoya Sleep In and Suites. My name is Denise. How may I help you? Denise, how much to ride the horse that's outside? Denise? Denise, you hear me? God damn it, Denise can't hear me. What the hell's going on? Thank you for calling to sleep in. Goodbye. Hello. Hello? Can you hear me now? Yeah, can you hear me? How much is the bread or said? Thank you for calling the Kamoya Sleep In and Sweets. My name's Denise and how may I help you? Good boy, that's a real good boy. Is this your horse out here? Oh, can you, what, what's wrong there, miss? Uh, there's just a horsey. He's a, very, he's a very good boy. He lets me pet him, you see. <coughs> oh, he's a good boy. Now, I'm just wondering, what's, what's he doing out here? He's kind of all alone. Thank you for calling the sleep in. Goodbye. Yes, no problem. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Heartline Ranch, this is Corey. Hi, yeah, we got our horse machine here with us. We were wondering if it was all right if we came by. The horse machine. What is a horse machine? Oh, it's a horse. And it fucks like a machine. (laughs) This one got that Uh, with the big horse dick. I'm sorry, I have no idea what you're talking about. It's, It's a stud. Oh, I don't want any studs. It's a big we have older horses that are all related. It's an Italian uh, well, No, I'm not interested. They just want to, they're interested in the mares. No. My yeah. mares are all older. Who are you? I'm Bill. Well, That's Bill, Bill. we're not... Horse. We're not interested. Thank you. I want you to see my horse machine. No, go away. Do I need to call the cops? Just come no. look at the horse. No, 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 just come look at the horse. No, thank you. Well, it's got a beautiful <laughs> alpaca. You have a play Goldbrush. This is David. How can I help you? Hey, hey big David. Uh, how much is it to ride the goddamn horse outside? I'm sorry? How much is it? How you? much is it to ride that horse that's outside? Horse outside. What are you talking about? Yeah, I, th- I think you got the that, wrong number. The horse okay. machine. No, no, yeah. no. I got the right one. There's a horse machine. There, there's no horse machine. I don't know what a horse machine is. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I think it's, you called the wrong number. Can I talk to someone else? No, I called the right number. Can I talk to someone else? It's clear you're busy doing something, and you don't want to help no, me. No, no. So I, 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 I would much appreciate talking to someone else. There is no one else you can talk to. I am the, the buck stops here guy. So <laughs> explain to me what you're talking about. There's Please? a goddamn horse outside, and I want to ride it. There's no person here. And I was just calling to see if I can ride the goddamn horse, how much it would be. Where, it, where's the horse? Is, is it which casino? It's in the parking lot of the big casino. The one up at Bucky's, you mean? Up at the top of the hill? Yeah. Big, there's a horse up there? Big Bucks. I didn't yes, know anything. there's a goddamn horse right here. It's a big Italian stallion. Okay, um, talk to somebody at Bucky's because I don't know anything about it. You're calling Yavapai, okay? Hey, hey, you get your hands out of my horse. What are you doing to him? Oh, hey, I'm riding this horse, goddamn you. Because it seems 
like we've gone through. And Your call is now being forwarded. Please. Thank you for calling Honda Casino and Resort. This is Denise. Oh, no. Hello. Denise again. Hello, Denise. Did we just speak <laughs> to you? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think oh, so. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> okay. Well, I was there, and, and there was a guy who was trying to sell me his Hyundai. I said, oh, I work for the Hyundai Casino. But I looked it up, hmm. and you're not Honda, you're Honda. Yeah, Honda, uh-huh. Yeah. So what was that guy, what was his deal? Is, is that like a guy that's always there, like a scammer guy, or? Mm, boy. Uh, hmm. Because <laughs> he didn't look like remember. a scammer. I mean, he he was dressed nicely, and he had like a suit and tie on. And he, his hairs uh, were, were poking out of his, you know, from his chest, from his uh, collar. Oh no! Had, I think he, he was nice just a hair. guest too. The hair on huh. his head was nice. It was it was really well done. It was really you know, it was hmm. uh, it looked nice and and his his composure it looked really good. But I don't think I don't know the scammers are like they like take care of themselves like that. And it looked like he went mm. to the gym a lot. And not uh, that I'm you know, aware you could of. See, I don't. You could see an outline <laughs> in his uh-huh. trousers. Nah, I don't think so. Uh, yeah, do I you see the guy over no there idea. that has the outline? Uh, nah, I do not even know. Do but you yeah, look, do you usually look to see I... if you know there's a big like bulge? <laughs> okay, sir. Uh, no, I would not have known who that person was. Oh, okay. Um, so I don't know who you would have talked to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he um, said Honda um, was better than Honda. Um, hmm. So I would have no idea. And then he he started pointing at his crotch. <laughs> he said, "Look okay, at this! Sir. Look at this! Look uh, at this!" No, and I, I wasn't you know, it's here, really hard to avert your eyes when some guy's like yelling, "Look at this!" like at you and pointing. So okay, you know, sir. Um, if you don't need anything else. Reservation-wise, or the I'm casino. But I'm huh? not gay. I'm not gay. Well, sir, I hope you have a good night. Goodbye. I hey, look you. at this. Look at this. Ugh, ugh. Marina Polker, Miss Chris. Hi, uh, yeah. Uh, you got a big desk over there? I can, like, lay down my, my plans. Uh, one second. Hold on. All right. Poker room, Chris speaking. Yeah, I was wondering if you had a big table over there that I could lay down my plans on and just, you know, look at them. Cause I, I got a situation brewing. And I can't, uh, I can't do it up here. I can't. Well, we, we probably not. We, we won't. I mean, you could, there's probably sit at the restaurant next door. Oh, the restaurant okay has empty tables. I, oh, it would be okay if I like stretch it out. Look, it's pretty big. It's a lot of plans. Yeah, if you want to do it on the table, on one of the tables in the restaurant next door. Yeah, because we got this idea about this, like, you know, uh, this tunnel, and it might be like, be like a vault, and we're going we're gonna to take a look down there, you know, where we got ground-penetrating radar, we're going to investigate, and there might be some ghosts under there. So we're thinking of doing that, like, next week. Calls packed into just a three-hour show, which is insane. Good evening. Thank you for calling Week of Casino Resort. Mm. This is Holly. How may I direct Hi. the call? Yeah, uh, we had an insane situation occurring uh, inside the room. Um, you know, there was a, there's some uh, there's electrical lightning going on. We had the what microwave room? turned on. We're in the room with the microwave. Uh, I need the room number, the, ma'am. Oh, uh, two one five, and it's, it's a sir. Thank you. Sorry about that. Oh, yeah, I've got a clown stool here. Uh, he's he's fine. He, he didn't get shocked in the in the ball of lightning that came out of the microwave there. Okay, let me get security up there. Okay. Oh, well, we don't need a security. We just want to alert you to the fact there is ball of lightning cascading from the cascade effect. Uh, okay, unfortunately, I have to the, send, uh, um, unfortunately, uh, I got to uh, have security go up there. Well, no, we don't need the, no, no, that's all right. We got it all under control here. Because the cascade oh, okay. effect, it, it only happened because we left it plugged in. Now, we unplugged the device, 
I tell, there is no issue. I'm just alerting you to the fact that there may be apparitions in the hotel now. We've opened the portal I... to the other side. Oh. I can't be held liable for this. Okay, Mr. Chambers. Well, that's not my name. Uh, you said you were in 215. Uh, I'm showing Daniel Chambers. Oh, no, that's Daniel not me. Daniel Hart Cross. The name is wrong. You shouldn't be giving out people's personal information over the phone based on a phone uh, number given to you randomly on the phone. That's not Sir, smart. Sir, this is very serious. All these calls are being monitored and recorded with your phone number. So you yes, gave but me you shouldn't have given out personal information without confirming that you're talking to the right person. That's PII leak. Hi, Julio Cookie. Thank you for calling Resort Services. Crystal speaking. How may I help you? Hello? 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 Can you hear, can you hear me? Hello, oh. how can I help you, sir? Okay, so what is going on is I am in one of your rooms and I have a bit of a problem. Okay, what is the problem, sir? In what room? Okay, so like the, you, the problem is with the ironing board. What, what room are um, you in, first of all? Okay, well, I'm not sure I'm not looking at the door right now. There's a lot of, kind of a lot of people in here, and that's kind of what this is about. But, like, I, I think it's like 215, 2115. I don't remember. I, I'm from Germany. We, do, we always do four numbers. I can't remember what's the American. I'm so I travel weary. Okay. Okay, and what's your name? Uh, my name my name is Johan, but it is not in my name. But the, really, it's just a kind of a quick question. It's like... I'm here speaking with the man because, like, this is the ironing board, right? And I was for using that. And then the man had to come in and he say that it is improper use for some some reason. He knew what I was doing. And he he works for you there, does he not? I have no idea what you're speaking of, so continue. I, I'm trying to catch on with what, where you're going with this. Okay, so like I was using the ironing board, and then a man come in, and then two more men came in. They're all wearing suits. They're all here now listening to me talk to you on the phone. I just wanted to call and confirm that these men work for you was because they call themselves the ironing board, and... They are like a, like a committee of men, they are so saying, there, and they are like... So there's four men yes. in your room right now? Yeah, we'll include me, yeah, there's me, myself, and there's two other men. That was man, this man has like what are like bodyguards, and one said his name was Milkman, and the other man, he say, he say his name sir, was Zinorax. Sir, I, 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 yeah. um, with, all, with all due respect... Give me a moment, please hold. No, 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 no. Hello. Hi, how are you doing tonight? Can I have Can I help you? Yeah, I was wondering about uh, you know, what you got to offer, uh, especially late at night. Like, do you have a room service or? No, thank you. Oh. Oh, you need help with your phone. I can help you. I I make the phones go. First one, I'm speaking. Hi, yeah. Uh, do you know where the escorts are? The escort goes. Uh, no, sorry, I don't. Oh, they like you know they look like snails and they leave a trail. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I don't know. Because. Uh, my my friend here, Cat, was she was wondering about the snail trail. The snail trail? Yeah. Oh, that's. I don't know. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, okay. I thought this was a snail. Uh, you know, there's a place to call where the the snail girls go and. You know, you call and you go, oh, uh, I think the code word they said this week was Reginald. Re Green Reginald. 
Is that it? Can Reginald? Reginald? One Reginald? Sec. I'll, I'll bring you up to my boss. Oh, all right. Green Reginald, I think that's it. I could have sworn that was it. Sorry, are you currently staying here at the hotel? Oh, no, no, I'm here with my friend. I'm just... Ew, how? <laughs> this is the uh, Florence Hilton Hotel, right? Ooh, yeah, sure is. Hi, how you doing? Pretty good. How about yourself? Good. Oh, well, I'm doing real good. Thanks for asking. Boy, you sound cute. Now, listen, I had just like a little bit of a question for you. There's this little fella down here. He's looking real good, and I'm petting him, and he's real nice. I'm just wondering, like, what's what's going on with him? Why is he in here? I, I'm not sure, sir. Well, he's just a little fella, just a little boy. You give him a little scratch behind his neck. He's super, you know, super friendly. I just don't know what's really, you know, what's going on with him. You don't know what's going on with him? No, I was just wondering, like, who's little? I just he's just wandering around out here. You know, he's panting, you know, real heavy. Look, I mean, he's kind of shaking, he's wiggling his butt and stuff, you know, you know. Are you talking about a dog, sir? You well, you know, he's just a little fella. Hello. No, no, you keep that on. He looks good. It looks like a little bow tie is on his collar. He's got a little tag on around the collar, too. Uh, sir, where are you at? Oh, I'm just out here in the, like, main area in the, in the, kind of like, the assembly, you know what I mean? Like, but he's just such a nice, friendly boy. Did you hear him? He, he can talk, he can talk. I say, speak, boy, speak. Sir, he's not, dude, he's too shy anymore. now. Sir? Oh, there you go. This, this man showed his penis to me. Sir, you can't do where, that. Where, 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 where. Oh, my God. I'm I didn't know scared. we could say that. My goodness. That's like I say. He's a little boy here. He's got, you know, jeans and a little T-shirt on. Nice, nice boy. I don't but know I, this man. He Dylan is a weird, pretty good boy. And he's barking at me. You know, you could just throw him out the window. What? No, no that's not a way to treat a nice little boy like that. I was just wondering, you know, what, what's this boy doing out here? What's going on? You know, like, is he a C&I boy? You know? I'm not sure, sir. I've is never met him before. Like an emotional support boy. I've never met him once in my life. I had no oh, idea. Oh, God, he's got the damn extinguisher. <laughs> oh, God, he's spilling it up in here fast. This is too weak. This is... Now, listen, I'm going to have to bat this boy for you real quick. Boy, stop that shit. You stop that shit now. All right, sir, I'm going to have to go now. You have a lovely night. No, 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 listen. You're this not boy's my real got dad. some tags on him. I'm trying to read the tags. It sounds like there's a line. He's just hard on. with the smoke. Just bear with me. Hang on, please, just bear with me. Just I'm trying to read the tag. He said his name was Gordo. Just yeah, one word, Gordo. Yeah, you I don't know anyone named Gordo, so unfortunately I can't help you. Well, that might just be his last. Hang on, hang on. There's, there's a, there's a, I think I see a number here. Oh my goodness! It says six six six. Oh my word! That's not a phone number at all. That's a clan tag, sir. It's like in the That's shape my BMI. of a bone. 
But it looks more, to me, it looks more like a big root on him. Holy shit, he's got some firecracking shit. What the hell is going on? Well, you have some of your firecrackers, sir. I'm gonna... Sir, is this your boy? Let me go in now. What's going on with this boy? Wait, can you... Wait. Can you come out... Can you come out here? You my daddy. What's this boy doing? Oh, my goodness. These are my good shoes, and there's fucking soot all over them. Okay, the smoke is starting to clear now. There's another boy out here with the exact same goddamn thing, but he's all scary all over. Huh? Huh? You're not, you're not here? Oh, God, no. Okay. Hi, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I want to go way up north there. I want to inspect uh, the many uh, things that you have available to the guest. I was just wondering uh, what amenities you had. Okay. Well, our, we just got the standard room with um, either a, sing, a double bed or two double beds, a kitchenette, microwave, fridge. Okay. Yeah. Is there moose? Because I was told that Moose and Squirrel get along up there. Who are you uh, looking for? The Moose. I'm not sure who that is. Oh, uh, his name was uh, uh, Mr. Winkle, I think. I don't know who you're talking about. Uh, it was also Mr. Rocky. Were you looking to make reservations? or? Well, yeah, yeah. I was just wondering if uh, Mr. Winkle was there or not. So are you going to make reservations? What date did you need it for? Uh, we were thinking uh, the 28th through the uh, the 1st there. The so 28th? Okay. Yeah. Will you and be we were wondering about the... Uh... Hello? Yeah, sorry. Hello? Hello? Calling Yorkton Comfort Inn and Suite. Tell me more about the room number of the well, guest. Cat taught calling. me to Please throw all the batteries in the uh, oh, receptor to recharge them. That's what she does. She threw all of the car batteries that stop working in the ocean. And, uh... Hello? Thank you. Thank you for calling Comfort Inn. How may I help you? Hi, yeah. I was down over, you know, under uh, there a little earlier. And, uh, you know, I noticed that there was a pipe sticking out of the ground. And uh, I I took a look inside. And I don't know if you've, you've looked in there recently, but there's some things in there I think you ought to see. It was really weird. <laughs> I'm I'm standing next to the pipe right now. I don't know what this is. Sir, I, I didn't understand. Do you hear it? Do you know what this is? I'm scared. I'm really scared. Are these demons? Why is the hotel pipe like this? Why does your pipe sound like this? Thank you for calling home. Thank you for calling Yorkton Home and Suites. This is Connor speaking. How can I help you? Hi. Hi, Connor. Hi. Hi, yeah. We were in the field uh, across the way there, and we got into it with a moose and a a squirrel. I was just wondering if we could go over your place there and wash up. Shit! Um, yeah, like, uh, like, what, like, how do you mean, like, like a shower? Well, yeah, yeah, we're covered head to toe in, in moose uh, feces, yeah. 
Um, well, I, I, I don't think that I can. I don't think I can. Let, if you're not a guest, I don't think I can let you use the the showers oh, no, we, here. I'm sorry. We, we, uh, do you have any rooms available? Um, let me see. Oh, like did you did you want to make a reservation for tonight? Is that what you're saying? I was thinking maybe because it's there's a real mess. So it got it got in our mouths even. It was pretty. Oh uh, my God. Intense. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, we do have. Uh, we we do have rooms available for tonight. Okay, yeah, we were rolling around in the field and uh, there's moose and bees and. Uh, okay. We got yeah we we thought if we played dead, it would leave us alone, but it it uh we got right under it right the the most inopportune time honestly right right in the mouth right right there. Jeez. Yeah. That that's actually almost unreal. Okay, so like, uh, you wanted to yeah. have you stayed with us before? No, no, I, I don't come through here uh, ever. Okay, if there's a lot of noise on the other end of that. Can you um, like it's just kind of uh, hard to hear you. It's it's happening again. Wait, what? Okay, well, did you guys want to come over here and we'll make you a reservation? Yeah, we're just. I mean, we haven't been trampled or anything, but we got a little tent here, and it's you know, the, 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 you know, there's no door. It keeps on yeah, coming. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, we do have rooms available for tonight, so if you guys want to make your way over here, then. Yeah. I, w- w- okay. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh puke! Oh god! Oh, I can't take the smell anymore, dude. Okay, we're we're getting it. We're getting the room. Alright. <laughs> dude, why does it keep pooping, dude? Oh god. Well, it got into our it got into the food. Okay. Well yeah, if you guys, yeah, oh, we'll be here if you guys wanna come on by. Alright, well, we're gonna come by, uh do you uh get some help? <laughs> Oh jeez, and then play all through my fucking jeans. Okay, yeah, so we'll see when you guys get here, alright? Alright, yeah, we'll be there in a minute. Uh, uh, yeah, I love you. Can you smell? Hello, it's me, okay? Hi. Uh, can Hello? you explain to me the, the stra- where the strange smell is coming from? Who's calling? Oh, I I was walking on by, and there was a strange smell. It smelled like uh, human, uh, you know, feces. Oh, can you tell me again? Yeah, I was walking by, and there was a smell. I I caught a whiff of something, and I, I looked, and I couldn't find anything, but it smelled like human feces. Yeah, where are you right now? Oh, I I went home. I went home. Yes. I was tired and I wanted to take a nap because I had been walking uh, around. Where are you? Where are you calling? Where are you calling? I'm calling uh, the hotel, the the West Machine. West View Motel in. Yeah. Uh, this is the Canada, Saskatchewan. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know where I am. Uh, oh, it's because my phone's not from uh, Canada. I never changed it when I moved. Yeah. Uh, you know, I moved my bowels and uh, I got out of the United uh, States because there's nothing united. It's all just a big colossal wasteland of corporate entities uh, milking the population until uh, they snap. You know, you know, that's the American way. Just drive people until they, they go and cuckoo crazy because they've been squeezed too hard like a toothpaste tube. And, you know, when you squeeze the toothpaste tube too hard, it all shoots out like the bottom end and then you wasted all that toothpaste. And you could have just done it the nice way and just, you know, done, you know, a nice, you know, slow, uh, even uh, squeezings of the toothpaste tube over time, and people would be much happier, you know, if... if I'm sorry, to, sir? It's so hard. Hello? Yeah, Hello? hi. Yeah, hi. Yes. Hi. Hi, honey. What can I do for you? Hi, yeah, I was calling because there was a strange smell. Oh, from... 
It was outside the, the motel. I, I smelled it. I was walking by, and I noticed, you know, oh, it smells like someone's, you know, gone outside and taken a big shit somewhere. And so I, I investigated. I tried to get down to the bottom of things, you know. I wanted to find out. I was looking for evidence of, of like, human tampering with, like, the toilet and the pipes and the holes. And I didn't find anything, but it still it smelled like human excrement. I was just concerned for your safety, really, because I mean, if your place smells like you know, co- you know, human doo doo caca feces, then what's this world coming to? Oh, uh, it could be. I don't know, because we didn't smell anything. Are you like trafficking poo in the area? Is that what's going on? No, we don't do that, sir. Because are you I've heard talking some about things. the which, which business are you talking about? Uh, the West, uh, you know, Western Views. Yeah. <laughs> and I saw that there was a poo storage room underneath so, uh, one of the rooms there. There was a container full of uh, human excrement. And, uh, uh, you know, that guy who investigated the tombs in the 90s and... Uh, it just amounted to nothing on TV. He was there. Who are you? Oh, uh, I'm Jerry. Shit. And yeah, it does smell like and that out here. Yeah, it did. So are you, are you are you staying at a motel or what? Oh no, I I live in town. I just never changed my my phone when I moved because my family has this number and not. You know, a uh, Canadian number. Okay, Bell. Uh, sir. Because uh, I, I dealt with we... Bell. Now let me tell you about Bell. Bell. Uh, you know, <laughs> we dealt with them uh, to get the phone connected tonight because I was trying to call you for hours and it didn't work. I had to call Bell. And Bell, they got me all run around. You know, they they spun me around in my head and uh, they said, "Oh, you, you owe us money. You know, you haven't paid your bill." So I paid the bill. I told okay. Them. I found the. Oh, okay. Found hold, the on. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Okay, sir. Yeah. Okay, because uh, we yeah. always check around our motel, and then um, you cannot just come into our property and investigate without our permission. Well, I was I was just walking by. I mean, I was just looking around the building. I wasn't right. like you know going inside or anything. No, but right. I just but saw then you still, the road. if you want to, yeah, I just I could see, and there was a horse there. No, sorry. No, it's not us. And then we don't have any problem around the motel because we have a plumber. He was yesterday there, and then also he's coming back next week, and he checked everything, and there's no problem. But thank you for your concern, but next time... I'm just explaining it's, you know, the issue at hand is, you know, it's just, you know, someone was out there having a poo is what I'm just trying to explain to you. You saw somebody who was twing outside the motel, you're saying? Yeah, he he dropped his drawers. Here, he's here now, and he dropped his drawers again, and he's having a poo out here, not in the loo. Does anybody got a little roll of toilet paper, please? Oh, jeez. Oh. I'm gonna call the cop. <laughs> what are they doing in there? Um. Uh... You need a minute. I got, <laughs> I got some customers here. What oh, you, you heard need? that? So did you hear that? What do you need? There's a woman here, and she is with a man, and I'm staying in a go. hotel. No, 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 no. But listen, she's here. What? She said her name was Kat. She is here. She is doing this man in in the hallway. Just give me a minute. No, 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 sir, no, sir. They don't have a minute. They're gonna bust any minute, sir. She keeps saying, she say, "Oh God, Bill, it's getting real serious." You keep pumping. You keep like he pump his body like real hard into her body. And they are beckoning me that I come to them. She's doing like this thing with her finger that is like, come here, just come here, I think. Oh. 
And if you say Bill, 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 and I say, how did she know that my name was Wilhelm? Bill for short. You know what I'm saying? Are you even there? You oh, motherfucker, you. Oh, you're there, you little sissy man. You're not here what I'm Hello? saying? This lady's Hello? fucking... Hello? Hello? Hello, did you hear all this? Okay, what's the problem? Okay, so like, there's a man and a woman out here. What? And you hear, do you hear these noises? She keeps Are you saying, staying in a oh, hotel? Bill. Yes, I'm staying in your hotel, but I'm in the hallway, and there's like a man and a woman up against the wall, and they're not wearing no clothes. Okay, I'll be upstairs. Just... Well, wait a minute, wait. Where they're, are you in? They're, they're doing I'll, something. I'll talk to you. Well, I'm not actually, I'm not in a room. I'm out in the hall, and he's like really pumped. Okay. I'll be right up. She say, oh, Bill, oh, Bill. And she, she, she telling me to come over with... Hi, good evening, New Frontier. Hi, yeah, uh, hi, are you, oh, boy. Hi, yeah, hello, wow, whoo-wee, wow-wee, wow-wee, wow-wow. Oh, hello. Thanks for calling Gregor's Motor. Hello? Oh, oh God, Bill. Sorry? Oh. oh God. My, my heavens, Bill. <sighs> Sorry. Hello? Uh, do you want to talk, Bill? Oh, my word, Bill. <laughs> Sir, you don't want me to want to talk? Bill, Bill, Bill. Bill? Hello? You hear me? To whom, to whom you want to talk? Bill, Bill, Bill. Stony Plain Best Western. Hey, uh, hello? Hello. Hey, I just, I'm in one of your rooms. I just kind of had a question. I got like a little bit of, maybe a little bit of a problem. What's the issue? Uh, there's like a hole in the mattress. A hole in the mattress? Yes, sir. From? And about in the middle. Which room are you in? I'm not too sure about that. I was just like half asleep when I realized it. I'd have to look at and turn the lights on and stuff. I just got on my phone. But basically, there's a hole in this Sir, what in room the are fucking you? mattress. Sir, I, what I don't room know if it was 215 you? or 2115. I, was, I, don't, I don't remember too much my first time here. but What's your last name? Basically, I is hard cross. Now, now uh, there's What's a hole in name? this mattress. And it sir, kinda, sir, you it said, feels sir, weird. You, you've said that yeah, four times. Hard What's cross, your last name? And what room number? I think it's two one or two one one. I'm sorry, I'm very sleepy. Two one five, two one one five. I don't remember. I'm How really you tired. I just name? woke up because my hand was in this hole. How do it's you spell heart, your last name? Heart cross H A R D T. Oh my God, it's moist. Uh, K. Sorry, K R O S X. Negotiating connection. Hello, yeah, I'm trying to negotiate a connection out here. You know how I can negotiate the uh, connection? Huh? I'm trying to negotiate the connection. My what devices, connection? Uh, the devices that I brought in, uh, they operate on the microwave. I'm trying to you know, get them locked in, honed in on there, and on over on there. What? Yeah, I'm just What's trying that? to calibrate it. I'm trying to calibrate it, the machine. Which machine? 
Well, it's the machine in the room. Uh, you know, you got the uh, you got it plugged into the wall. It's uh, it's making noise. Which room you are in? I'm in the room with the uh, the water, and it gets cold and it it, uh, it cracks a little bit. Which room you are in? Room uh, number. Oh, uh, it said ice on the door. What the? It's ice. Where, where you call? It's the shore side end. I don't know where you're calling. Right. Oh, okay. It's by the, um, you know, the the room where the fat lady is. It's right next. To I don't know room. who's that. I don't know who's the fat lady. Okay, just tell me the room number. Well, I'm not. I'm not sure is the problem, and I I'm hard of sight. I have trouble seeing. So, my helper he what? went out and. Yeah, yeah, we're here, and the, the fat lady, she was going to help me out, but she's sleeping. Which fat lady? Where are you? Well, the, the lady that was near the machine that was worrying, and it was rocking back and forth, and it was shaking, it was making weird sounds. It, it, called, it called me fat. I don't know who you are and what are you trying to tell me. It's a short side uh, in motel. Yeah, I know, and there was some gandu. Who's that Gandu? I don't know. He said his name was Gandu. Was Maybe you are Gandu. Him. I don't know. I yeah. don't know who's that. Oh. Uh, it's not my name. My name is the Big Boat Mosh. I don't give a fuck. I'm the Big Boat Mosh. Look at me. I don't give a fuck. Who are you? I'm just the Big Boat Mosh. That's what they call me. Okay. Okay. What are you going to gone do about it? I don't know. I don't know who's gone do. You are gone do? I don't know what it means, but I, I mean, maybe. My friend said, oh, call him up. Maybe. He's gone do a bunch. And uh, he, he keeps <laughs> calling right, me sir? the big boat mosh. He said, oh, you're the big I, boat mosh. He I, said that means a uh, nice guy. Okay. I don't know who the fuck is this. Because, you know, he said that you sounded like you had a lot of fathers, you know. I don't know. You have a lot of father? Are you a Harami? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> huh? I don't, I don't know. I I don't know. My friend's not here. He's like, he took the night off. Normally, he's here coaching okay. me and telling me what to say. And usually, okay. things go go pretty good. And I don't know. I don't know what to yeah. say. Yeah. Like he said, when he uh, comes, so about. tell him, you know, you are a panchod, okay? Oh, I've heard that one before. He called me that. He oh, yeah? He's best friend, yeah. Good. <laughs> yeah, uh, and then he taught me about, you know, mater chod and how, like, you say that to your mother and father as a sign of respect. Yeah, so you respect your father. Call your father tomorrow, mother chod. Okay. I that will be, he will be very happy, proud of you. Perfect. Okay. okay. Thank right. you. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, buddy. I love you. Thank you for calling Days in by window. Yeah. Court. To I'll do like one more. I think that's going to be it. I Thank you for calling Days in White Court. This actually, how can I help you? Hello? Hi. Yeah, hi. Uh, hi. I was wondering about uh, staying there with my yeah. big family. Cause uh, we're, how many rooms you're looking for? Well, we need like four, uh, like four people. I don't know how many rooms, like people uh, to, uh, how many rooms to a person that is, you know. Um, and how many I have people a... can, uh, how many rooms can the people be fit into at a time? Uh, are two queen beds, uh, if you're comfortable sleeping two people on the bed, then they are more I was thinking more, people, but... more that, uh, you know, uh, one person would like to stay in like four rooms at a time. So we need like uh, 16 rooms if possible. So they just like a change of scenery for every couple hours of the day. Sorry, I couldn't get you. So how many rooms are you looking for? Uh, like t- uh, twelve or twenty-four, maybe uh, forty-eight, because they like to, you know, 
between the four of them, they like to go into different uh, locations because different energies of the rooms. I, I have my brother here. Uh, he's a he's a ghost hunter. He's a paranormal investigator. Would you want to? Because he, he can explain it more, better than I can. It has to do with the energy of the room. Right. So, Hello. how many nights? Can you hear me? Hello. Hi, can you, I can hear you. Hello. Yeah. David Hardcross, I'm here to talk to you about the energies of the room. Right. Now what I do see, you mean by energy? Uh, so, we need ma many of us need many rooms because we have to feel out the right energies for us. We're, we're psychics and spirit mediums. And so, I'm, I was told to talk to you. You wanted to know about the energies. And right, so and basically, uh, you, I yeah, have a harmonic yeah. stone that I tune the energies with if they're bad. And I mean, basically, we just need a few rooms, like, and and everyone's going to eventually maybe pick one or two rooms, but we need at least four each to choose from and see if we can cleanse the energies. Now we're getting all of our equipment you, out of the van now as we speak. Are you paying for all those yes. rooms? Well, that's what we're here to talk to you about, as I understand. We can get him back on the phone. He, he's going to handle that with you. I was here to talk to you about the energies. They didn't tell you anything about us. We, they were sure they were going to tell us in, in, in advance. I, we, we do this often. We travel around the country. This is actually good for you because we cleanse the energies. Right. But are you looking for tonight? Um, I'm I'm not sure. Will you, will you speak to this man? I thought he wanted to know about the energies in the in the, in the fields that would be. Just oh, yeah, yeah, get the yeah, stones yeah. out of there. Yeah, we'll we'll keep unloading. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you, you got to speak to my brother there. And he runs the whole outfit, and um, you know we're supposed to call you before right, we only, get there. My, my question is, do you do you need room tonight? Well, that's just the thing. We're supposed to call you before we get there, but we we've, we've been here, uh, you know, since about oh I don't know, it was a couple of hours ago. Are you sure, which you know, which under the cover of darkness, call? it's really easy to. Okay, you know, what, just... what what hotel did you call? Do you remember? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I don't remember. I mean, because you're yeah. calling the wrong place. How am I calling the wrong place? What do you mean? Burn the sage. Yeah. Just, just burn the sage as you go in through the lobby. Well, we're over here. You know, we're on uh, Caxton. And we're out here in the parking lot. You know the car well, dealership next have... door? We're over here. We're, yes, well, you know, I... yeah, yeah, yeah. We're over here. We're, we're lighting stage around the building outside. But I don't have you know. rooms for tonight. I, I'm fully booked. Oh. Uh, do you know anyone tonight. that has Either. a room? Pick up all these salt bags. Because we got to take care Probably of the spirit try, energy tonight. It's you know try it's calling, coming to a, uh, a, a big uh, crescendo at the end of the night. You there's know, a there's a hotel across the street. Maybe try that. We, well, we tried them tonight. and they said no uh, to all of our our uh, antics and our film crew. And uh, you know Zach Baggins. Zach Baggins was on the Zoom call with us earlier. He's he's looking into us. He's he's really enjoying the show so far, and you know he offered us a, a place in his uh, haunted uh, mansion over in Vegas. Right. Try calling Super you know, Eight. I don't have a room. And it was nice okay. talking to you. Okay. Well, I guess you're not Thank gonna you. you're not gonna take place in this historic moment, I guess, with us. No, no, no. Thanks. That's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate Goodbye. for you. Yeah. It's unfortunate. Wait, wait, All wait. Right. Who's that man on the phone? Wait, wait. I can sense his aura. Hello? Hello? Sir, hello? Yes? I can sense your aura through the phone, sir. I will do a reading for you free because you have a very interesting future. Yes. Hello? Can you hear my spirit guides? Yes. No, 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 no. <laughs> All right, my brother. All right, let's get us out of here. 
There we go, kids. Another fun-filled installment of the Madhouse Militia. That's right. You can get us right here every week on Friday nights. The Machine Family comes together. You know why our Madhouse Militia family is on a journey together? And together we can overcome all adversity, pain, and fear, and anger in our world. Excuse me. Let's burn this up. Okay. Okay. Learning and blah, 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 blah. And we're learning that we're laughing at our problems and it melts away the grief of our troubles as we find that our strength is the power of laughter, kindness, and joy. We're learning that our differences are merely trivial and that we're all really more alike than different and that we're healing our collective souls with the magical power of laughter. Right here on the Madhouse Militia Show every week, Friday, here in your earbuds at 10 p.m. Right here in your earbuds, the Madhouse Militia. We're saving the world one laugh at a time. We're dropping the dimes. We only ask you to give us a time and bring a friend or better yet, bring an enemy. You know what? They're all welcome right here in the Madhouse. And I want to thank our big brother. Wasted machines who I haven't been here for quite a while. But forgive us this gigantic stage here to perform upon and spread the message of the Madhouse Credo to the world. Love and kindness and laughter gives us strength over the weakness of anger and trouble. That's right. My big brother Axel, he has helped me carry this gigantic torch forward, shining light upon the world through our laughter and our joy. God bless you so much much thank you so much brother axel for helping me out with this big project and everybody in our dear family to join in tonight to make this all possible we do this every week for you and we hope that you enjoy as much as we do and 